guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my hands. This time they have decorations on them. I am in my living room, as you can see, the dogs, hopefully they're being a little bit chill right now. So I'm hoping that they're not gonna hop up on the couch and annoy me because my phone is barely propped up. So let's just cross our fingers, which is hard to do with gloves. It's your girl Renee, by the way. And today I wanted to show you what I got at Sephora. I have my gloves on. I already have cut this open. I know that, you know, this is a very difficult time. And I know that people are, you know, being a little bit more judgmental and critical of how people spend their money. And I just want to remind everyone that we're all in this together. We are all somehow affected in some way. Anyways, let's get to opening what's in here, just to let you guys know, I'm gonna wipe off. I have my Clorox disinfecting wipes and my gloves. So I am going to open this and then I have these and I'm going to just kind of wipe off the packaging as I open things, just the outer packaging. And then I'm going to take my gloves off just mainly so that I can, you know, swatch a few things for you and show them. Oh my, really? Chloe. So I got one. Let me move the wipes because they're probably pretty distracting. The Becca Ignite Liquefied Light Highlighter. But, um, Sephora? Uh, it's kind of odd. So with this one, I'm going to actually wipe off the packaging and then I'm going to quickly wipe off the bottle. So I got the color creativity. I just thought it was a different shade. So it, I know it is like a rose gold with pink highlight. So I'm going to put this aside now that it's disinfected. I'm going to keep everything over here and then I will go back after I take these off and do swatches. I got just a mini little thing of the Sunday Riley multivitamins. I love the Luna sleeping oil. By the way, my mom's cat, her name is Luna and she uh, is laying really weird. My mom just sent me a picture and so I'll answer it here. Cats are weird and yeah. Anyways, uh, did I even, so if you don't know, you should probably follow me on Instagram, Seattle MUA Renee, I'll leave a link below. I do lots of giveaways and I'm probably going to be doing another one soon. I've been doing this little mini giveaway series to kind of um, just, not that I can even ship these items right now, but just little things to send to people to, you know, give you guys something uh, to look forward to in times like these. So um, the one thing I know this is actually, at least yesterday, it was now out of stock. So just FYI, I thought I'd tell you, I honestly cannot remember the last time I purchased something from Clinique, but I got one of the new highlighters in Lunar Pop. I don't know if I'll swatch this one because you know the pattern's so pretty, but I'll definitely take it out and uh, show you. And then this is something I've already shown. By the way, my last video, the Sephora sale is still on. I'll leave all the information below. And you can also check out my last video, which is a Sephora recommendations. Um, 
And by the way, I know that this doesn't matter and I don't even need to uh, tell anyone this, but I am a Rouge member and I had been saving up my points for a long time. So I did have a gift card and that definitely helped out with a lot of this. But anyways, so I got one of the mini Fenty Beauty the body lavas in who needs clothes i'll do a swatch of this i have the bronze one in the large container which i actually have in my recommendations because i love it so i figured that you get so much in the large one that i feel like this is actually a pretty good size that would last you a long time. I have one of these and I absolutely love these. So I wanted to get another one, the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Shadow. These are so pigmented and creamy and beautiful. I know I have kind of the uh, reddish kind of toned one, but this time I got the shade Vivid, which I have been wanting for a long time. It's an olive toned shade, so I'll definitely do a swatch of that. And then just a few more things. I did get the Norvina Mini, I believe this is volume three. I believe this is the newer one. I have two of her large palettes. This one really just spoke to me. I love red. Red is my favorite. I thought the cherries were just freaking adorable. So yeah, that one I'll definitely pull it out and show you. I also, these Becca uh, lip sticks. I don't know why I paused so much when I said lipstick. It is one word. These, a lot of the colors were sold out. I haven't tried this formula yet. This is my first Becca lipstick. Is that right? Did I say that? Yeah, I don't think I have any Becca lipsticks. Hmm. So I got the shade Petal. The shade I wanted, I believe Orchid, was sold out. And I, I got an email yesterday that was, that it was restocked. So I'm gonna look and see, but I, I think, I mean, Petal is my second choice. It's kind of like a dusty pinky shade. So I'll do a swatch of that faux show for you. I love the foundation. So I got the Too Faced, the Peach Perfect Instant Coverage Concealer. So I will definitely open this up and show you guys. I believe I got a shade more closer to my actual skin tone. Why is this not? Oh, bisque. That's what I got. So super cute packaging. And then the last item that I got, whoop, cease. And then I will take everything kind of out really quickly and show you, oh, my legs falling asleep. The Natasha Denona Mini Retro Palette. I just had to have this one. Super excited about the color story in this one and love the whole vibe of, you know, it being 60s. So, I am going to take off the gloves. Okay, so let's just watch a few of these things. I'll show you the palettes really quick. 
And then definitely no, I don't want to touch the highlighter yet. Narvina, you're making this one hard to open. I was going to put on um, nails. I picked up these at the drugstore the other day. Look at how gorgeous these press-ons are. I mean, they have come a long ways with press-ons. Super cute packaging, right? Don't you just want to eat it? <laughs> I guess I'm hungry. I should probably make food. Dun, 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 dun. Just gorgeous. Love the reds. Just felt like this color story. In fact, it kind of would be perfect for Chris. I'm not ready to touch it yet. I want to take a few pics with it. So yeah, you're just going to have to deal with me not touching this one yet or this one, but I will show it to you. And like I said, it was out of stock. Um, but you know, you can always sign up for the alerts. So here is Lunar Pop. Just love the daisies. So flippin' cute. Just gorgeous. Let's take a quick peek at the Natasha Denona mini palette. It's so little. But you guys, these are a great way to try Natasha Denona without, you know, buying a palette that's $100. You can try out her formula, which I highly recommend. It is very expensive, but sometimes with makeup, you get what you pay for. There and I'm not like don't come after me for that because I also shop at the drugstore too. There are great products and I'm not one of those people that I mean I shop at Target for clothes or Forever 21 or you know I used to shop at Nordstrom's but I don't really have the money for that anymore. But so this is the mini retro palette. For some reason I expected the shades to be a little bit more vibrant. Let's just dip in to this one here. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely pretty. I feel like you might need a good base. I really want to dip into this olive tone. This really love olive green. That's nice. That is such a nice matte. Just so soft and blendable. Wow, okay. Love that. Might as well open this olive one. It's really on an olive kick. Comes with a little stopper. Stopper, it's not a latte. And there it is Vivid. And I kind of just like to press on it. It is kind of a little bit jelly. Look at that. Just gorgeous. There you go, iPhone. Absolutely stunning. You can just see the sparkle without any sort of effect or filter or anything. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that was. So let's I'll just I guess show you the bronzer. I don't I don't really Oh I can't open it. So nope that's not gonna work. Oh it has uh this surprised me Magnetic, kind of like the NARS Audacious lipsticks. Those are amazing, by the way. If you don't have any of those, those are such an amazing formula. Uh, so this is Petal. And it's just kind of a dusty, rosy color. 
It reminded me of a uh, kind of whirl, maybe a little bit pinker than whirl. Let's just swatch it. I'll swatch it for you. It says Becca right there, just beautiful gold packaging. Mm. It is so creamy. Oh my God. Okay. I see. I get what the hype is now. So a lot of the colors keep going in and out of stock and the reviews on these are just, just spectacular. So I was really curious about the formula and holy shit, I can't wait to put that on. That would actually be a really pretty makeup look with olive and this lipstick. I think I might do that. I'm actually wearing an olive uh, tank top right now too. It's just olive day. I like olive juice. I'm gonna save the shimmer foil till the end. Let's get this concealer opened. I'm really curious, did this shade uh, definitely seemed a lot darker on mine, but it should work. Um, so it is matte. It says instant coverage concealer. So do some concealers take time to work? The instant just kind of, ah, oh, that peach scent. Mm. So let's just swatch this over there. Oh, that actually is really a good color for me, especially for concealer. If I have on the other side of my arm here, you can see more of my, my actual skin tone. But it's a very creamy, um, you know, it's, it's really hard to say with concealers because obviously the skin on my arm is completely different than the skin on my face and under my eyes, but I will keep you guys posted. I can even do another kind of like follow-up to after I've tried these products and let you guys know. The, this Becca Ignite uh, liquid light highlighter was actually probably the thing that I was most excited about. I'd probably say these ones were my top three. Like they were in my cart immediately before the sale even started. And I'm just lucky that I got to get one of these Becca shades and then with the um, Clinique one being sold out now. So it does have a pump, just looks like that. Beautiful, beautiful packaging, just gorgeous. So I think we'll, uh, we'll just do it right there. Right there, kind of like Chingy, remember that Chingy song? <laughs> uh, okay, I always get really scared no, like in Elf, when Will Ferrell has the Jack in the Box and he's cranking it and he gets scared every time. <laughs> That's what I feel like when I'm doing one of these. Okay, so it, it didn't actually run down my hand very much, so it's not too liquidy. And let's just give it a little whirl here. Wow. Oh, okay. The scent is beautiful. It's a really light, perfumey, beachy. I don't even know how to explain it, but it smells so fucking good. Sorry. Uh, yeah. I try to watch my swearing, but you know. And let's just compare this to who needs clothes, because I mean, who does need clothes? When you have makeup, you don't need clothes. It's actually kind of a similar color. 
but you know, this color, and I really did want to try. I wanted the big one of this when it first launched. And I love the fact that now there is a smaller size so that you can try it. Oh, it's a little darker and a little bit uh, more rose toned. So there is. It's actually lighter and it's a lighter formula, more like a slight sheen where this, you know, that's what I got. And let me know what you got or let me know what you want to get. And I hope that everyone is doing well, staying safe. And hopefully um, I, I did have to get, I had a root canal yesterday, an emergency root canal because I had a tooth that was abscessed, my front tooth too. That was fun. And because I have exposed gums, and um, it's it's just causing a lot of issues. So anyways, I hope that you guys are doing good and staying healthy and staying safe. If you don't need to leave your house, don't. All right, well, I'm gonna hang out with them. You guys have a good rest of your day and we love you. Have a good day. Peace. See you on my next video, or maybe you'll see my hands. Maybe you'll see my face. I love you.